I think it's important to show the youth how to motivate and which mentality you have to have to be a good archer. In the interviews it's always about, yeah, my day was good, my day was bad because of wind or something, but what is in your head? I think it's much more important. I'm Katharina Bauer. I'm 26 years old from Germany and I'm doing archery for 16 years. I started when I was nine years old. Yeah, a long time actually. <laughs> and yeah, my biggest accomplishments were I won the European Junior Championships in 2012 when I was really young <laughs> and I won um, silver 2015. And the World Cup places in the top 16 and also on the European Grand Prix, I finished ninth. Katharina Bauer! Series final gettable target here for Katharina Bauer for bronze. And she gets a nine in the end, and it's a 28 plus 27 in that fourth set, and she's done just enough to make it through to the podium here in Antalya. My boyfriend is also on your team and while training he said, oh, you want to try my satellites? And I said, yeah, okay, let's do it. And um, I've seen a lot on Instagram and Facebook and everything. So I just tried them and it made my shot so different. <laughs> it was crazy. So I wrote to you and yeah, since then I'm shooting the stabilizers and I'm so happy with it. And what do you like about this current setup that helps you shoot well? Anything you, you feel in particular or um, anything you like about this set versus other things you've tried? Yeah, I love about this set that I can hold the bow really still while aiming. And when I release, it just plops down. It's um, yeah the first time I have it that um, the bow just falls out of my hand and not like go to the top or to the side. Um, yeah, that's what I love about it. So tell me about when you're setting up your equipment for your competition season, what are you looking for from your setup that makes you feel confident that you don't need to change anything else and you're ready to go compete with that bow that you have? That's a good question. Mm, I think I'm looking for yeah, like a still bow, which is not moving a lot. And I love to have a lot of weight in, in the front so that um, when I like follow through, that the boat just falls out. Sure. So you're looking for a nice aggressive jump forward. Yeah, yeah. That's like my shot is, in the end, it's quite aggressive, like really fast. So I want to have a bow, which is also really fast. Yeah. You're matching yourself up to the equipment and getting <laughs> yeah. something that feels right. Okay. Yeah. So shooting for 19 years, I'm sure that you've had a lot of awesome moments in your career and probably moments that were more frustrating or things weren't going as well. Tell me about one of the challenges you faced in archery in your career and then what did you learn in overcoming that? I think my biggest challenge was this year. It was when I missed the cut for our Olympic team. Um, yeah, After the last trials, um, I was cut out because I just messed up <laughs> and I was coming home and I was so so sad and I was like yeah I was crying for days but um, in my mind there was always archery so I always was like why you didn't make it so I always wanted to shoot and that showed me that I don't do archery because of any Olympics or any medals I do archery because I love it and I love to work hard and so that helped me a lot and my parents said to me, yeah, um, everything happens for a reason. So 
I didn't make the cut for the team, so now I know I don't do archery for the Olympic Games, I do it because I love it and I enjoy it much more than ever. And yeah, that's, I think, the thing that helped me a lot and why also my results after the Olympics, my results like increased again. And I think it's because of my mentality now. That is such a good perspective. I, I, I know from my own experience, not making an Olympic team when you try out is, can be pretty crushing, but I think it's really awesome that you found even more motivation through that and found that you just love the sport. Regardless of where you're at yeah. in it, you can still love what you're doing. Yeah, it's like Tokyo ended, but the road to Paris has already started with my like loss there, so. And only three years to wait, and then you yes. get another try. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you've heard a lot of archers give interviews in the past, and I, I assume you've probably given many interviews yourself. Is, does anything come to mind as like things that top archers don't talk about enough that you wish they talked about more or were asked about more? Yeah, I think about the thing you just asked me. I think it's important to show the youth how to motivate and how to, yeah, which mentality you have to have to be a good archer. I think it's not, in the interviews it's always about yeah, my day was good, my day was bad because of wind or something, but what is in your head, I think it's much more important. So you're, you're also looking to try to show those younger archers in, in watching your own career that, you know, there's ups and downs and you have to have more than just one goal of a particular team or medal you're going for, there's more to the sport than that. Yeah, in my home club I always tell them, don't have a plan A, have a plan A, B and C, because if you miss one you still have others, so it's way more easier to overcome anything, yeah. Yeah, I think having a backup goal that you can move to next when one goal doesn't happen helps keep you just moving forward. Yeah, yeah. Not just in archery. I like I have so many goals beside of archery. So like if I don't make the Tokyo cut, I said, yeah, then I go for my um, career at work or I want to build a apartment or something. So I have other things to do too. It is still possible that Power could do it in this set. Six points. And you got the feeling here Bauer can do this in nine arrows. And she gets, she gets the it. nine that she needs for a six nil win. She's been containing that. She's been holding <laughs> that in. To get a medal here in Munich in her hometown, that is what it looks like.